welcome back to another episode of City Skyline. So, today I wanted to see if I can't fix that intersection that we had um, over here. Um, still looks pretty backed up, so I want to see if I can't put a roundabout right in here and connect up the main roads instead. Hopefully that will help. Uh, rather than basically diverting traffic to these locations and running it over to here and then that one going over to there. It's causing some traffic issues over at this intersection. So not exactly w ideal for what we need, but uh, putting a roundabout here might work. Might, I'm not sure. And then I also had some ideas for the... Um, interchange over here as well so we might be able to integrate that somehow um, rather than have a bridge that goes over and it's still taking up quite a bit of room so what I might end up doing is putting a roundabout above the highway and basically designing it in a way where the people can easily just go around and exit or enter depending on what way they want to go so I think that would take up less room as well so we might see if we can't do that today but to start with I think we'll tackle this issue and hopefully we can get most of it worked out um, seems like there's a fire somewhere uh, yes whole block is on fire yeah Fire department's already here, so that should be fine. Yeah, I really like having the um, emergency services for the helicopters and stuff. Because they can not only just put out building fires, but they can put out tree fires as well. And they're just kind of doing their thing. I don't know why they're not putting out the tree fires. Let's just keep an eye on this one, see if they're actually dumping anything. Oh, he is. Oh, okay, maybe they just didn't need like three helicopters over here. That's quite possible. Alright, so <laughs> let's try not to get sidetracked. I'll start planning out some of this stuff and we might need to move the fire place, the fire hall or whatever. Um
Alright, so I got pretty much the roundabout and everything done. Uh, we just need to hook up that last road and we should be good to go. So I've been I still need to set up the um what do you call it? The Um bus route again because I've been restructuring the transit transit lines and stuff. We actually did do quite of a removed quite a bit of buildings there. Whoops. Um but yeah, so the transit buildings wise like or the transit um things as you can kind of see I've put down bus lanes around that aren't basically around the um oh, what do you call it? The um tram line. So I'm trying to keep it in a way that it will be stable as possible. Like for example here, um, I have a tram line hooked up to a um, subway system. So basically all this gets put onto that transit system. We might have a bus uh, stop over here, uh, which will allow them to easily uh, go to bus if they need to and bus is separated a little bit more around The city and parts that aren't connected by tram lines. So I tried balancing it out as best as possible So there's like more transit options um, Yeah, so we just need to put in the, uh, the bus lanes and we should be good to go Go over to this tab there we go so we'll probably put a line right over here and we'll bring that I've been kind of spacing it out every like three blocks or so so at least that's the idea that I'm doing that should be enough for them to decide to walk to one of them okay and then I brought it that way and then I what I what I should do actually is just have it over on this side I should I still need to put a bus line right in here, like bus road, but I can wait for the moment. I'll bring it back up this way, and then we need to go this way, so we'll put another line over here, I guess. And do it there. Another one over there. Probably put one in the middle. Another one over there. Then we need to go up this way, so we'll put one over here, and...
some minor changes to the road. Um, I created um, a median uh, tram system where people can get on and off. Now this should help with the traffic. I have noticed um, it has gone down a little bit. It is backing up over here, but uh, the the amount of traffic that gets congested over in this area is a lot less. Um, because what was happening was the trams would stop basically right on the side on that one line and that's where a lot of the cars were going right so I figured putting the trams in the middle would probably be better I mean that emergency vehicle was able to go by no problem so I did that for all the stops and I'm hoping that over time it will get a little bit better uh, for the congestion and we'll see if that will help a little bit. Um, the other thing that I want to try is upgrading this road to a three lane and see if that helps a little bit. I know that they're using just one lane at the moment, but uh, maybe they'll end up using two if we do that. So we'll see if this will help. Uh, might help with the exit. Looks like they're using two lanes for that. Um, yeah, they're kind of branching off into two lanes. Okay. That might help a little bit with congestion there. That looks... Okay, so people do cross over, and it does cause a little bit of congestion. But... Traffic's still flowing, which is good. I mean, it's just a little bit like a short period where it causes some congestion, but we'll just wait for another tram to come by. Okay, so let's slowly see how this works. So they cut across all the lanes of traffic to get to that location. The only downside to that system is we lose the ability for the cycle tracks. And they do cut across, and there's more crosswalks. So, you know what? Um, I think what we'll end up doing is we'll probably go with a median one. Let's see which one. Uh, this is tram tracks with median. I think that's the one that I had before. And that should hopefully help a little bit with the uh, congestion with them cutting across.
guys. So we got quite a bit of progress done. We got up to 88% traffic flow, which is way better than what we had before. Well, it's down to 87, but um, 88, somewhere around in that range. So that's doing really good from the changes that we made. It was down from like uh, down yesterday to like 85 to 80. So it's a lot more predictable now. Um, yeah, it's like steady 88%, which is good enough for me for as I am considered. There's a little bit of issues over on this side, people trying to get on to the other side of the road, but um, we could probably sort that out if we figure out where they're coming from and why they're going that way. There's also some congestion over in this area as well, so we'll have to figure out what's going on in these parts. Um, in the future, I'm not too worried about it right now. It, it seems to be keeping people off the highway, so that's all that matters. I did remove that roundabout over here, so we can develop in that area now. And I put some bike lanes um, down along here that basically have some exits and stuff. And it looks like we have a building that is burnt down. Why is that... Okay, I'm just going to remove that. Looks like it didn't get um, service in time, so. But, uh, yeah, outside of that, I uh, put some paths down the middle here. Um, there's a just regular civilian way we might be able to turn that into a bike lane, actually. And there's some junctions, um, like crosswalks between the roads, so people can basically go. I just use that trick where you can... Basically put a tree road or a grass road and then uh, some regular roads and it creates a crosswalk. So a great way for getting people to, across streets. I had to improvise around here though because there was the bus lane and the tram track. But uh, outside of that I just added some little areas where they can go around and to their part there where they need to. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.